Yep, I'm back at it again. So with the oddly large success of the first video, we have another installment into this series? Or at least, I think it's gonna be a series, I don't know, this is probably gonna get like, a hundred views or something. Where I'm just out and about looking for bluey toys and merch overall. And within the past couple months, I've just been recording myself looking at the stores as I've been doing. And I was originally going to wait until the end of the year to compile everything into one video. But there has been so much happening recently. And if I did wait, it would just be a single video that's like two hours long. So with that said, I decided to basically break up this year into multiple parts since there is so much I've recorded. And this second video will basically cover what I've been seeing starting right off where the first video left off in late December, early January, and go until around May, right before the summer season where I live. And I think right now is an interesting time because Bluey has been popular for a while, but as of recently, it has exploded in becoming a notable franchise. Which of course means that there aren't just new toys, but actually lots of other random stuff we'll eventually see. But overall, that's all I have to say. And apologies in advance for the audio, because I'm not the best at speaking with confidence or frankly loudly at all. Especially when I'm looking for bluey toys of all things in public spaces with people who probably think I'm a tad bit crazy. But with that said, we have a lot to cover. So let's begin right after the holiday season and into January of 2022. So this is the first time I've been to like a retail store since like Christmas and it's been a couple weeks now. But overall, I'm really surprised that they actually still have quite a few play sets as you can see right here. I assume those would have been all gone by now. And they still have quite a few plushies and a bunch of other things. Overall, nothing too new, but I'm surprised they have all of this stuff. And I've noticed that they started to raise the prices on some of the stuff too, as you can see here. I believe back then, or a couple weeks ago, those were like around $24. So that's really interesting to see. Hey, remember earlier last year when I said that Target's just had Talking Bingo and no Blueies? Well... I guess it's opposite day now because they just have a bunch of these. The stock is just really weird right now. Alright, so it's been a few days since the last video and I'm back at Target now because I heard that stores in America where I live are actually getting in new bluey toys but not Australia for some reason. So I'm just gonna hit a few stores and see if they have anything. Well, admittedly, they do have quite a bit. They have a lot of basically everything. They even got a bunch of the two packs, but none of the new, new ones. I know some of you might consider these right here new ones, but there's supposed to be an even newer set that's supposedly coming out, but I don't see those here. But um, yeah, it's kind of crazy right now. There's just a bunch of stuff. Oh, and there's the skateboarding set. That one's kind of an older one. But, um, yeah, I guess we'll just keep looking. Alright, so second target now, and things are getting pretty good. I mean, the pool set's kind of discounted, but even then, I don't need any more of those. But up here, it doesn't look like there's as much. But as you can see, they actually do have a couple of the new two-packs. They got this one based off of Sleepy Time. They even got this giant floppy figurine which is pretty cool. And this one is pretty sick. This one, I guess, is based off Christmas Swim because they got Nana, which is like a new character, a first in a really long time. And they also got Bartleby just chilling in there. Once again, it kind of freaks me out, but I'm definitely getting those too. Gosh, those are nice, actually pretty nice sets. Yes, I'm at another Target. There's the Peppa stuff. The bluey section here is pretty small, but don't underestimate it because they do have even more of these figurines. This is another Christmas swim one, which I'm going to get to open. 
And up here, it looks like they got the muffin bike and the uniponi. Oh, oh, they actually got the ice cream one. That's a new one. Bingo's got just a bunch of ice cream mess on her. It's actually pretty cool. And uh, oh, they got Bluey's bike too. If I could reach it. Uh, get down from there. Huh. That one's actually pretty nice as well. I guess I'll just get all of that. <laughs> Today's already a crazy day, I suppose. So everything so far is going pretty well. I think I got almost all of the new figurines except for the garbage truck set, but I'm sure I'll find that soon. And I think I'm still missing a couple new plushies like the Bob Bilby and the Magic Xylophone one. But outside of that, we're on a pretty good roll today. So I also heard from like social media and stuff that they're getting new bluey toys at Walmart too and over here they have a few things they have a couple of play sets and stuff and down here they have a bunch of plushies they even got a muffin plush all the way back there and someone took a scooter so I guess we'll just start with this one this is the pool time one and this one can be pretty hard to find now because it's an older set they released a while back and I'm pretty sure it was part of the original first batch of them. As you can see, they got some of the older ones. I have both of these in the package and loose, but I've only had this one in the package. But the other day I was at Target and I was able to find another copy of these, which was a little bit bent, which was okay since I was going to open it. And speaking of opening it, we might as well just pull the tape right here, I guess. But I, I don't know why they would have one this old compared to all the other ones, like the ones you see behind me. Or not behind me, but behind the other ones. I guess maybe they just had it in the back or somebody returned it. Now, I do have a pool-themed bluey figurine from that pool set I did a video on for some reason. But this one actually does have her in a different swimsuit color for some reason so cool thumbs up for variation i guess just pour it out like that i got the little box here with him inside i just love how they actually packaged him inside a box like the actual toy in the show it's like something they didn't have to do but it's a nice little touch now we have a unboxing inside a unboxing <laughs> it even comes a little plastic thingy, just like the other ones. I guess I'll just pop him out. <laughs> Gosh, he looks so weird, but I just love it. If I'm going to be honest, the best part about the set is probably Nana, because honestly, we don't get new Bluey characters in these sets too often, as they mostly just use the same few over and over again, which I assume is because it takes a lot to design new characters. But overall, I think they did a pretty good job. They got a lot of detail and stuff. And I just realized that she has a tail that's similar to Bandit's, where I assume he probably got it from. But yeah, I believe in this bundle of like different play sets, we got two new characters, not counting Bottleby or Floppy. I believe the other one was like a garbage truck guy or girl or something. But honestly, I think that's kind of a weird character to make into a toy because I don't even know what episode they appeared in. Or even if they did, like, was it Midnight maybe? But like, outside of that, I feel like it's kind of odd to make what is essentially a background character into a figurine. But, oh well. I guess it just adds more variety. Still waiting on that Mackenzie one, though. <laughs> I'm just looking at the Uniponi and this is just so awkward at this angle. It looks so weird. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad this show is not in 3D. Oh shoot, they actually have the new garbage truck set. That's actually pretty cool. I'm surprised they would have that because they already have so many other vehicles, but definitely gonna take one of these. Bluey's friends? Uh, okay. Well, at least they have the new two packs though, or the little sets. Uh, 
But yeah, I'm just at Target right now because apparently they have a new Bluey DVD set with both the American releases and the uncensored original Australian Bluey episodes on there, which sounds pretty interesting. So I just kind of stepped out and guess we're going to go see if I can find it. So since it's relatively recent, I assumed it would be in the recent releases, but I haven't come across any yet. As you can see, it's mostly just a bunch of other movies. I'm not sure if they're supposed to be here or maybe somewhere else, but I guess we'll have to keep looking. Shoot, so I was just walking out and they actually have them over here. Looks like they got in the set, but looks like people are already trying to buy them up. $19 or $20, which actually isn't bad for two whole seasons. I mean, it's got 103 episodes. I'm not sure how to do the math on that one right off my head, but I assume that's a pretty good deal. So it's actually quite interesting. On the back it says, as seen on Disney+, Plus," which is of course true if you live in the States like I do. It's got a description of the show basically. And look at this paragraph right here. This set includes every story from seasons 1 and 2 plus the Australian originals. And guess who made this DVD? Universal, Disney's rival. That is so savage. You go, Universal. But yeah, apparently Disney just got roasted by a Bluey DVD of all things. Welcome to 2022. So as you may know, I've seen a lot of Blue's Clues plushies and Bluey displays. But if you look over here, it looks like the tables have been turned. <laughs> All right, so it's been a little while ever since I've done this, but I'm going back to Target. Apparently, they're supposed to have a little bit more Bluey merch, like some towels and just some random stuff. I don't think there's any new play sets. It's just the same old stuff, but I'm going to go inside and see what they have going on. So yeah, as I mentioned earlier, it's pretty much the same stuff compared to when I left off. We got the big play sets down there. And if you look, they're actually on sale. The house is actually only $20, which is insanely cheap. I almost want to get another one, but I don't think I need more. <laughs> and if we look up here, it looks like the talking plushie is also on sale too. So it's actually some pretty good deals going on right now. But up here, it's mostly the same old stuff from last time. We got the school packs and the family packs. Then we have these other play sets. We got Bartopi who's just chilling right there. But yeah, honestly, I haven't recorded in a while, but it doesn't look like you're missing out on too much because it's basically the same stuff as before. But I am glad that the shelf is pretty well stocked. I've been to a few others today and they were also had quite a bit, so everything's looking good and since i'm here i might as well take a look at the hot Wheels section i know y'all are probably not into hot wheels and this is a bluey video but i've always liked hot wheels and if you see my live stream you'll know i have thousands of them but overall the hot wheels have just been kind of meh not really too much going around just some of the relatively standard cars nothing crazy rare or special but i thought i'd give it a look also, here's the Matchbox section. They don't have too much going on either, but I think they deserve some love too. So now that that's done with, I guess we'll go look at the pillows and towels to see if they have anything new. All right, so I'm in the bedding section now and I'm not sure if they're gonna have it. I heard reports that someone found it in store. I'm not sure if it's gonna be in my area though because you never really know of those types of things, but I'm going to look around real quick and see if I could find anything. Shoot, I just dropped my phone, but um, I'm looking down here and they have this thing. I have, honestly, this wasn't what I saw earlier, so I have no clue what this is. It's like a giant thingy. I'm not sure what it is. I was looking for the pillow. It was like this blue themed pillow they have out. I'm not sure what this is. I'm not sure if I'm going to get that, but that's interesting. Oh, so it's actually Bluey themed up here, but she's got no eyes, so it looks super weird, but eh, I guess this is kind of interesting. Yeah, 
Yeah, I was a little bit unsure at first, but I bought it anyways. Can you really be surprised? Gosh, it's so hot out here. My skin is killing me, but we're at another Target right now, so I think it's going to be pretty similar to the first one, but I'm going to take you all inside and I guess we'll just see what they have. I think this is the first time in a while I've seen them without any of the houses, but once again, I assume that's just because it's such a good deal. But overall, yeah, it's mostly the same old stuff. Someone ripped out the bingo cutout for some reason on that truck, but overall, this one kind of has a smaller section, but once again, they still do have the same stuff as the last location. Just looking around and I don't see anything bluey themed. I guess they don't have them in yet because I assume this is a relatively new thing, so maybe this one just hasn't gotten it in yet. I don't think I've been to this next Target, but hopefully they'll have something good. Sorry, I was just stopped in front of the store because I saw this actually nice looking Ford Pinto outside, but other than that, yeah, this is the bluey section. They got kind of a mess down here. It looks like this is where they normally put the plushies, but they don't seem to have any of the small ones, although they are well stocked on the talking ones. The Pure, they do have a lot of these kind of newer two and three packs, but once again, it's mostly the same old stuff. I don't think they're gonna get in new play sets for a while. So I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think, think they might have bluey towels, but I've been to a couple stores and I haven't seen any. Although they do have this pretty cool Minecraft one. I've noticed they've made a lot of Minecraft merch lately and stuff that I never really had growing up when I was younger, but that's pretty cool. But outside of that, I also checked the blankets and the pillows and stuff and once again, they didn't really have any blue stuff at all, so I must have just gotten really lucky with that other location. And I just passed by the Crayola section and of course they have everything except the bluey one, which they did get in, but I just think it sells really well good to see that blue is getting so popular. They don't have any bluey merch here, but I'm at Dollar General and I found a dollar bill on the floor. Pretty neat. Oh, it's getting a bit dark and we're basically in the middle of nowhere, but the hunt continues. Ooh, look, we're in a liminal space. Except there's actually people here, so it's not really a liminal space, but it's pretty empty. Oh my goodness, they have it. My favorite bluey character. The frame art thingy, um, wait, why is this here again and why are there three? Well, I guess I jinxed it because it looks like this one's kind of running out, but thankfully I already have all this stuff, so I guess we'll just move on to the pillows and blankets and stuff and see what they have there. Yep, it looks like this one doesn't have it either. I'm looking around and I don't see it, or maybe I'm just dumb and maybe you could see it on the screen right now, but... I'm not seeing anything bluey related, so I guess once again, it's probably a new thing and most of the stores just haven't gotten it in yet. But they do have a lot of Minecraft plushies. Dang, I want one of those so badly, but I'm not gonna buy one. Well, at least on the bright side, it's getting a bit darker, so thankfully it won't be as hot as earlier and I won't be like being tortured by the heat, so that's at least one good thing. So as I mentioned earlier, or I think I mentioned earlier, Walmart doesn't have as much as Target usually, but even this one's got some decent stock, even though the section's a bit small. Surprisingly, they actually do have some of the recent plushies. They got the socks plush, which is honestly one of the cutest things ever, but other than that, it doesn't look like there's too much going on. Oh yeah, and I already have these, but for those who don't know, they actually do have bluey placemats at Walmart for the low, low price of two dollars and 48 cents so if this looks interesting to you most of the walmarts i've been to have a ton of these so that's pretty neat add another walmart to get some paint and stuff and looks like they have a few things but not as much as the other location also taking a quick peek at the hot wheels and yeah this one doesn't have that many as you can see, I'm taking a look at the paint section because I want to get some paint so I could turn one of my Hot Wheels into the car from Bluey or the car that the family uses. Looking for the orange paint, but I haven't seen that many good paints at most of the stores, but I'm just going to take a look up there and see what they have. 
So I'm just at another Walmart looking for paint again and I just realized that they actually have the Bluey Shadowlands board game. This one's kind of open but I'm surprised they have that because this is the first time I've ever seen any store with actual board games because I just ordered all of mine online. Huh, very interesting. I don't know if you can see them but there are just a bunch of roaches crawling all over the place. Oh gosh, I'm scared. If one of these bugs crawls on my shoe, I am gonna scream, but... Considering that I'm at Walmart, I think these bugs will probably be the least of my worries out here. I probably mentioned this earlier, but the caravan's also on sale too, and it's only $17, which is basically half off. That's actually a really good deal. I might consider getting another one because I really do want to loose John Luke figurine which only comes in this play set so that might not actually be a bad deal even if it's just for that one character. <laughs> if I get one though I want to get a good copy because this one's got some like weird scuffs on it. I'm not sure where that came from but I think so. It looks like there's another one and this one is in a little bit better shape so I guess I'll pick up this one and you know just make sure everything's on it because I know people like to pick off stuff from it but it looks like this one's complete so I guess I'll get this one and hope that the sale's still going on. I mean, I really did buy this $30 place just for this one plastic figurine, but at least I got it for $17. Which is still a bit ridiculous and crazy now that I think about it, but at least it's only half the pain. I- this is probably not gonna end well. So I kind of got lost and I was looking for the bedding stuff and just in the cups and stuff I came across this bluey thermos? Are they, do they have different designs or is it just the back? Oh, it's just the back. It's actually pretty cool and I don't think I've ever seen this before so I mean I guess I'll get it. I mean I need some kind of content. So I'm looking through the bedding stuff and once again I don't see anything bluey related. Oh shoot, never mind. There's actually something right here. Shoot. I was just about to say that I haven't been able to find anything bluey related and there's actually something right here. That's crazy. Perfect timing. What is this? It's like a pillow with just a stuffed bluey on top of it? That's kind of weird, but that's pretty cool. Shoot, I guess I'll have to get this too. As if I already didn't look crazy enough holding one bluey item to the checkout, now I'm taking two things and one of them's a giant pillow. And I'm also trying to hold these Hot Wheels cars I got as well, so this is going to be pretty awkward. For some reason, nobody likes these Sierra Cosworths, but I think they're pretty cool, so I got a couple. Well, overall, today wasn't that good at all, but I got a couple bluey items and I only got 10 weird looks while doing it, so I'd consider that a major success. So now that I've gotten this thing open, you're probably wondering, was it really worth it to pay $17 and get this entire set just for this one character? And my answer would be yes, absolutely, it was totally worth it. Alright, so there it goes. Another episode in my journey to obtain basically anything with Bluey's image on it. But on a more serious note, I just want to say that the main reason I'm doing this series is to basically document the things stores are getting in from at least an American perspective because I know Australia has bluey stuff for basically every product imaginable 
But I think it's getting really interesting where I live, because we went from basically having nothing, to a couple toys, and now other stuff like bedding, food containers, and so much more. And I'm actually editing this video in June, where I've seen even more crazy stuff like tons of party supplies and even newer toys. But I'm gonna cut this episode off here because I have so much recorded for June alone, and I don't want to make y'all sit through an hour of me going shopping of all things. So yeah, overall, I would say that the hunts have been quite successful, and that there is even more to come soon. But with that said, I would like to know your thoughts, and if you have seen these items in stores, or possibly even stuff I haven't even seen yet, let me know in the comments below, and until next time, BMB Studios will be signing out. Have a nice day everyone, and I'll be back real soon. Gosh, I love saying BMB Studios so much. I don't get to do it very often, but maybe I should make it a tradition.